let's check out the parts of an exponential function. So uh, exponential functions have this form um, where f of x is equal to some um, constant raised to the power of something with the variable in it. So these different parts have different names. So the constant is called the base. This is the base of an exponential function. So in this function, 4 is the base. And then this part up here is called the exponent. And you can have um, different things in the exponent. Uh, you, you at least need to have the variable in there. And in this case, I'm multiplying the variable by 2. Um, you, you can have, you know, you can do some other modifications, 2x plus 1, something like that. So the exponent can be somewhat complex, but it definitely has to have the variable in there. All right, and the only rules are that the base has to be positive, and it would it'd be kind of going too far into left field if, to explain um, why, because it would actually involve imaginary numbers and, and four dimensions and all kinds of stuff like that. So don't worry about that. Just, just accept it now that it has to be positive, and then you can kind of investigate more on your own the reasons why if you want. So this has to be positive, and this also cannot be 1, um, because what would happen if that if the base were 1 would be something like this. Um, so say we had like y is equal to um, 2, I'm sorry, we're, we're talking about 1, 1, um, 1 to the power of of x. Well, no matter what you plug in for x, this would still equal 1. You know, 1 squared equals 1. Uh, 1 to the fifth equals 1. Um, 1 to the negative fifth is equal to 1 over 1 to the fifth, and 1 to the fifth is 1, so that equals 1 over 1, which equals 1. So no matter what, equals no matter what if you if your base is 1 it's it, the function will be equal to 1 so it, uh, that would actually form a straight line where if these are your axes you know where it look like that just a straight line which that's not what we're looking for that's not what the fans want so this can't be 1 and it can't be negative other than that you're fine to just to go hog wild and then you need the variable up here in the exponent, okay? And it'll look something like that.